All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Carthage stream for NECC Week 2 Smash Bros. Carthage Firebirds going up against Saginaw Valley State. I am Turbo Dragon 32 joining alongside Subby. Hello, everyone. And we are getting into the game. As you see, Saginaw's Kiki has played Bayonetta. Oh, my goodness. I was predicting Bayonetta before the stream, and it actually happened. And we have Space Food on this. Space Food on this starting out. Best of three here. 4v4, Space Food, the first player up for the Firebirds, Kiki, the first one up for the Saginaw Cardinals. So how do you feel finally get to see your particular character? You know, it feels great. I feel like every week I'm predicting at least one of these character every selections, week. and yeah, uh, goes to show with my uh, with C experience for sure. <laughs> no doubt about that. But uh, <laughs> if you weren't able to tune into the last week's stream, it was Firebirds against Michigan. Uh, the Firebirds did not fare very well against the Wolverines. Dropping two to zero, but you know this week is more of an improvement week and trying to get on the win column is you know we're 0 and one and Saginaw is 0 and one so it's just a battle for who gets their first win of the season. Stocks are down to two now. Let's see how this plays out because going back to that one argument in the past stream with Lucas versus Ness, apparently the main of this Lucas player, I'm sorry, excuse me, this Ness player is really strong on that argument. So let's see if he can actually make up for that. Yeah, we'll see. Space Food kind of did struggle a little bit against the Wolverines last week. So he's looking better so far this week, which is already a plus. Uh, both teams at 11 stocks. As one member 
from the teams just taking stock off of one another. My goodness, these Bayonetta combos from Kiki are insane right now. 83% damage on to Space Food. It's gonna have to respond. Yeah, I, can, I noticed that as well. There's a little bit of latency in mean, these Nintendo Online. Yep, there we go. These <laughs> Nintendo Online servers, what do you expect? Oh my goodness, the yo-yo from Space Food. There we go. Saginaw down to 10 stocks. Carthage 11. And our producer is celebrating that one. Oh my <laughs> goodness, and it's short-lived. A one-to-one -one for stocks. Both teams 10. All right, so it's pretty have good, strong prediction skills here. Who are we going to predict this match? I think Space Food's going to find the edge here. He'll find a way to get this done here. He's, he's got some motivation to do better than he did last week, and I believe in him. But Kiki on Bayonetta has been really strong so far. As you can see, these combos just raining down out of nowhere here. 54% damage. Nice counter! Bayonetta is definitely one of those annoying online players to go against, especially oh, yeah, with all those sure. combos. Very scary fight. Space Food's going to be at 81% damage here. Nice back throw. 63. Thunder hitting twice up to 90. Hitting three times, 101%. He is in the driver's seat here, but the counter is almost going to get Space Food out of here. Anybody's game here. Counter again from Kiki. That one's not going to do much of anything. Good dash attack from Space Food. Nice shielding. Oh, and Space Food's going to get that dub for Carthage. Man. They will have 10 stocks, and the Saginaw will have 9. Great showing from Space Food. Definitely improved from last week, for sure. Oh, yeah. Very that, impressed. That's definitely going to hurt on Kiki's part, especially missing that counter. That was, I feel like, the solid opportunity for her to get Space Food out. This quite wasn't. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. Can't discredit Kiki, though. Did great for Saginaw, but ultimately Space Food coming out on top in that one. And we await to see uh, the next Firebird up to bat here. And while we're doing that, Subby, how has your day been? You know, my day has been going pretty well. I had some sushi before this, and I... That'd be the time of Nice. I, I've, been, I've been great. I've been celebrating the Seahawks' victory over the New York Giants. Mm -hmm. I watched Monday Night Football last night, and uh, 11 sacks on the board in oh, total wow. for the team. It was a 24-3 win, and yeah, it, it was the most dominant, but also the most sloppiest game I think I've ever seen. <laughs> in, oh, goodness. in my years of watching the NFL, but uh, yeah, it was it was a great game all around. Uh, very proud of the defense, even though our defense is kind of suspect in recent years, as the uh, Legion of Boom is disbanded. But uh, yeah, good standing for the team overall. I'm very oh, proud. Yeah. I'm not really that much of a football person. <laughs> Never watched football growing up, but I do have some friends who are pretty into it. This Sunday, actually, I was out with one of them, and they were trying to explain what football was. And I feel like for the most part, I was cheering for the wrong team. <laughs> I forgot what the other one was, but it was Bears versus that other team on Sunday. The Broncos? Yeah, the. And I just heard that the Bears were doing great at first, but fell <laughs> off at the end, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, the old, the old choke, as they <laughs> say. They were up, what, 28-7, and they just blew it to the Broncos. Hey, Russell Wilson's on the Broncos, though, so shout out to Denver. <laughs> Of course, I have no idea what these names are, but <laughs> 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 sounds like see, I assume he's a good football player. Yeah, he's he's a good quarterback. Yeah. So what team do you root for again? Seahawks. What yeah. states? Uh, they are in Washington. They are in Seattle, specifically. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually a really big fan of Washington. Mainly only because they're actually the headquarters of the Nintendo company. Yeah. So that's the only reason why. <laughs> Tie it back no into what we're casting here, a Nintendo related <laughs> game. I love it. Nintendo has definitely been there in my childhood, so this is a big deal. Yep. How about you? What what games did you grow up with? Uh definitely one of my favorites for sure, Mario Kart Wii. I mean that's that's oh, yeah. that's the game I've been tenured to for the longest. Yeah, you know, um, I feel like you actually mentioned that how you're a Mario Kart Wii grinder. Yeah, almost I a am. professional here. Right? Yeah, I mean it says it in my Discord status. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's it's everywhere. Mom's in the chat. Hello. I believe that's actually my sister in the chat as well. Oh, so. nice, nice. <laughs> Some family representation early exactly. on here. Exactly, Fam family reunion with the whole fire. Yep, for sure. So, how do you feel about Mario Kart 8 then? switch do you not grind out that one only we i not as much as we 
I like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, just not as much as Wii. It, just, it doesn't feel the same to me. Yeah, the nostalgia isn't there. Right, the physics are not the same either. No. The They're, wheelies, they don't have yeah, those anymore. <laughs> the physics are not the same, because literally in Mario Kart Wii, you can just be driving, and a red shell's coming at you, right? And then you can just turn, and then it'll just block it. Oh. Like, it'll just cancel it. I mean, it, that that's how broken the game is. Oh, and wow. here we go with the second game in round one here. Mithra and Pyro. Space Food will still be on the board. He had one stock remaining in the last game. And Joker will be up for Saginaw. That was their second player. They have nine stocks remaining. Carthage, ten stocks. A little bit of friendly BM to begin this one. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I, I'm really liking how Space Food started off with the first match, and I really hope that Rhythm keeps in play with the, all these new characters. Yeah, definitely. He's going to go up against the Pyra in Mithra, so a very different character than what he went up against last matchup. What type of playstyle do you think Pyra and Mithra have? I, I personally have never really seen them as much, so would you say they're more like a, a good counter towards an S's effect? I think so because they have a lot of versatility. You know, Pirate and Mithra have different movesets in general, so that just amounts to different playstyles that you can have with those characters. And yeah, overall, that just makes them very unique. Oh my goodness, Space Food still space going goes. off here. Saginaw down to eight stocks. Carthage still has ten, and Space Food still here, making a statement of redemption. You know, as someone who's a Lucas main having this argument with Ness, I'm actually pretty proud of our Ness. <laughs> and that's coming a lot for me. Mm-hmm, definitely. Oh my goodness, nice grab. Oh, okay, the combos coming out from Joker. The Cardinals here. Have that recovery. See if they can gain further momentum here. Space food, 83% damage. The Blade's gonna do a bunch of damage to switch to Pyra. Almost didn't recognize Pyra because it <laughs> looks just like Mithra, but <laughs> Pyra is out there now. Oh my goodness. Nice backslash. Shulk would be proud. 120% damage onto Space Food. Oh, and that's going to be the finish. Oh, now oh, it's not going to be the finishing blow. Standing. Wow. Still standing 136% <laughs> damage. He's not going anywhere. He says, oh, oh is that it? Yeah. There you go. Hey, now he's yeah. Just went right off the screen faster <laughs> than John Ross's 40 yard dash. Wow. He had us in the first half. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he definitely had me in the first half for sure. <laughs> so Carthage down to nine stocks, and Saginaw is going to be at eight. Joker is still going to be on the board for Saginaw. But Carthage will have a new member stepping in. Yeah, I'm actually pretty proud how, uh, regardless of having one stock, he was still able to take one off of Pyron. Before, unfortunately, he juked us out a bit. Yeah, again, <laughs> he, like he was going to leave the yeah. scene, but again, that was he just, just not his moment. He just wanted to make a statement, and that's, all, that's what it's all about. When you have like a tough game, like last week, where you just can't recover with Ness against Michigan, it's it's you know you want to make a statement, you want to show oh, yeah. people that you can overcome adversity. And he's doing great, a great job at this right in the beginning. I feel like he's kind of picking it up, learned from the mistakes last time. Yeah, definitely, for sure. So we've already seen a Bayonetta today. What else could we see later on? You know, you've made all the predictions so far. <laughs> so let, let me have a chance at yes, a good Yes, 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 yes. Um, one that I would love to see that unfortunately I will not be seeing probably at all in this match history is Mr. Game Watch. <sighs> Gotta yes. love that lag movement. Makes everyone pissed off, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely moves at like one frame per second. It's like the Internet Explorer of this roster. I would definitely love to see. Let's go with either Pac-Man or Mega Man. Let's Ooh, see, this is okay. Sega characters that, play. that isn't Sonic. Two thirds of the Holy Trinity. Yes. Or even, not gonna lie, Olimar. I doubt anyone's gonna play <laughs> Olimar, but that would be really fun. Nah, to see. I think I've seen Olimar like once or twice before. I mean, yeah, no one really picks him. I mean, the only times I've seen him is at the JV level. But, oh. you know, no one picks him at the, the varsity <laughs> who, who picks level. All of them? Right. Yeah. I mean, Alf. We'll give our boy Alf. Elf like a higher tier than all. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Stands out more for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, got the little hair. He actually has his eyes open during yeah, the battle. Yeah, I was too. just going to say that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his eyes are open. on the battle. <laughs> right. He's actually looking at his opponents rather than Olimar. It's just falling asleep. Not to mention that <laughs> that big uh, 
nerf he had coming into uh, Smash Ultimate, where his pimpkin, they, like, went down in size. He used to have, like, eight of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he's only Super got, Smash like, what, like, on the four Wii. now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's three, even. Three? He only yeah, has three of them, and they die so easy. That's, that's quite a nerf. All right, so it looks like paramedics will be up. Oh, they're keeping the pirate. Going up against Lucina. See how this one works out. You know how I feel about my sword fighters, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Sakurai, what have you done? One, Even if you got your blinds closed in your room, you still see the fire emblem <laughs> characters. You can I never have, escape I have nightmares them. About them. You can never escape them. Here we go with game three in round one. Garthage <laughs> nine stocks. Paramedics in now and Joker. Saginaw at two stocks. Uh, in total, Cardinals have eight stocks remaining in the round one. First team to lose all their stocks will be obviously the loser. And the, the team who didn't lose their 12 stocks will be the winner. Simple as that. For those of you confused at home. Yeah, so just a quick clarification on that. Yeah. So ten, <laughs> 10 stocks each. Uh, in each 12 round. Stocks. 12 stocks. 12? Yes. 12, and then each round they would have to We're go still learning. To the, <laughs> the past one that they had in the previous round. Until, well, yeah, so, done. It's gonna be a nice KO there from Mechanical <laughs> Merle. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I saw Lucina, and I was like, ah, I don't know if this is paramedics. It looks like Mechanical Merlin to me. Yeah. But nonetheless, though, that issue is taken care of. Mechanical Merlin, nice KO. On to Joker, and Joker on the last stock, and Saginaw's gonna have seven, to Carthage is nine. Gotta love the Animal Crossing tunes in the back. You know what else you gotta love? Kind of that air battle going on there where they weren't hitting each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that is prominent in sword fighter battles for sure. Uh, both players around that 85-90% damage range. Uh, except Mechanical Merlin's up to 104% damage. Oh my goodness, oh. Prominence Revolt cancelled. Oh, if that thing would have went all the way through, I think we would have seen an SD there. Oh my goodness. One thing about Merlin is that he definitely doesn't... Wow, like what a down spike. SD, what a down spike from Joker. Carthage will have eight stocks. Joker still on their last stock here. 117% damage. Let's see if Mechanical Merlin can find a mark. Prevent the tie here with stocks remaining. It's gonna rack up a lot of damage. Good damage. Switch to Pyro now. 133% damage. Joker just being an absolute tank here. Oh, Prominence wow. Revolt's gonna hit. Looks like Merlin is struggling. 147% damage. Oh. What a counter! Oh my! The counter from Mechanical Merlin. I I think I don't deserve to talk after that. Put that in the highlight <laughs> reel. Oh my goodness. I feel like Merlin heard me speaking there for <laughs> I don't a even minute. know what to say after that one. <laughs> just right just right place, right time. Honestly, mm -hmm. just right place, right time. That's that all was, I can really, really say smart. about that. Yeah. That was really good ledge guarding on that counter. Is, that if, was, if we would have got that ledge grab, that would have been a little bit of a sticky situation, but that, that can yeah. play beautifully. What we could have seen from Kiki on Saginaw, we saw with Mechanical Merlin on the <laughs> Lucina. Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. That was just flawless. Carthage at eight stocks, Saginaw, Cardinals at six. You know, this seems like a really good balanced match uh, compared to last week's now. No, for sure. And we'll see uh, Saginaw's third player come up on the board. Uh, so, uh, do we see Game & Watch? Do we see Game & Watch? Do we see him? <laughs> do we see him? So far, I don't believe any of our Carthage Firebird players will ever play Game & Watch. No. Uh, none of them is. Town and City really again, hey. Names, but... I'll take that. What about a Lucario? Interesting. Be an interesting I feel pick. like Lucario is a bit too slow. When a bit sought he... after, for sure. He, he's strong, for sure. But yeah. Personally, I, I like using the more faster characters that are lighter. Yeah. Well, we'll, see what we... the punch. yeah. we'll see what we have here. Saginaw. Cause they could throw a curveball. Okay, oh, Toon wow. Link. All right. Pretty justifiable pick, <laughs> I would say. It's not game and watch, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll take it. It's we it's something. Two link, not gonna lie, the best link in, in Smash. Uh, yeah, I would say, definitely. And yes, I am dissing on Young Link. 
I like Toon Link better anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't take <laughs> Who uses Young all, Link? Maybe those in the chat will, but <laughs> yeah. No moral barrier for me. <laughs> Rivon is now in for Saginaw. Rivon will be playing as Toon Link. The bomb's going to hit Mechanical Merlin immediately here. He's going to be at two stocks. Riva's going to have three. Nice neutral attack to open things up. The Cardinals. Merlin already trying to go for that Lucina counter that we saw at the conclusion of last game. Just so clean. Hopefully we see another one. Most players around that 30% damage mark. Nice damage. Mechanical Merlin. Good damage on the up B. Riva. Those bows and arrows are definitely going to get annoyed in, later in the match. Yeah, and the boomerangs as well because it creates range. Good oh, parry yeah. for Mechanical Merlin. Oh, Stash yep. attack. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the bomb <laughs> hitting the wrong person there. 109% damage on Dariva. Got a little confused Makes there the for a second. Arrow's going to hit 72% damage. 89. Wow. Dash attack, another one. 97% damage. Neutral's going to get canceled. Oh, oh no, never wow. mind. She's going to stay there. Wow. With the correct amount of time. Carthage down to seven stocks now as Riva going to get the KO with the neutral. Even though Merlin was shielding for most of that. Just kind of broke through the shield and that kind of happens in this game sometimes. Oh, Just yeah. got to deal with it. Not the most misfortunate times too. Yeah. 150% damage. Mechanical Merlin trying to find the mark here. Ooh. Wise decision for Riva to get the bomb out of harm's way. Making the recovery. Ooh, oh, that no. That was backwards. Yeah, that recovery was Ooh. backwards. That was definitely not intended to happen there. That's got to hurt. Indeed. Carthage will be down to six stocks, and we have an even split 6-6 six, six by virtue of that SD from Mechanical Merlin. So he off the board. Oh, yeah. I feel like Merlin will definitely be back for more later, though. Yeah, for sure. Okay. It won't be the end of him. Nope. <laughs> you will see Merlin back again. Yep. But sure. that Toon Link, though, I, I feel like Toon Link is definitely one of those interesting characters where your base attacks aren't as strong, but when comboed with the, you know, the bows and the bombs, oh, that's a nightmare. It's not, yeah, you do not is. want to get comboed yeah. by Toon Link. Yeah, it is because he has, like, all the tools at range. You talk about the bombs, you talk about the boomerangs, you talk about the bow and arrow. I mean, he's got all of this stuff in his moveset that just makes him intricate and stand out from the rest of the pack. Now, does that make him stand out from Young Link and Link? <laughs> no, because it's the exact same thing. But other <laughs> characters, yes. I feel like... Maybe uh, preference will stand out, but, oh, yeah. you know. I feel like the only difference between him and the other Links is definitely the weight. But that's pretty much it. If, if you're a person that goes based off of, like, you know, the heavyweights versus the lights, then that's pretty much it. Yeah. Other than that, exact same person. Literally, they're the exact same. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Just <laughs> looks different. Different graphics. <laughs> yeah. Different dimensions, as we'll say. <laughs> kind of, like, into the Spider-Verse, but into yeah. the Link-verse here. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, how do you feel about Echo Fighters in general in Smash? I notice in the Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, there was a big debate on why Lucas was a DLC, saying how he was an Echo Fighter to Ness. Yet we got more Echo Fighters like <laughs> Lucina that was still in the right. roster. That was a big argument, especially for me. I did not want to pay for my main. Yeah. I mean, yeah, to me, Echo Fighters are, are just kind of kind of there. I mean, you got Samus and Dark Samus. I mean, they're, they have the same moveset. It's just basic. It's basically on preference for me. Mm -hmm. Same thing with, like, Martha and Lucina. To me, they're the same character, you know. Oh, but they're they're it, literally the same. It's, it's One just, has longer hair. It just could, right. It just comes down to preference <laughs> <laughs> in in some categories. I mean, so I do like how some of them have like slight differences, like a uh, Prom, and I believe it was Ike. How they have really similar move sets, but I forgot exactly what's different about them. But I believe it was um kind of like stats in the movie. Yeah, for sure. All right, so paramedics gonna be the third player up for Carthage going up against Riva from Saginaw. Both. Team 6-6 six, six for stocks in round one. It's anybody's game at this point. Ooh. Carthage did jump out to the lead in stocks remaining, but it has shrunk down by virtue of those miscues we saw from Mechanical Merlin earlier. We see Paramount is getting some nice damage, and again, 
the wolf is a good player to use against Toon Link because yes, you you don't have as many options at range, but you still have that luxury with the blaster. And he does have good has, speed and strength yes, too. Yes, and he has the reflectability as well, which is also very nice and it's the compliment to a, a character like Toon Link. Especially that blaster. That's yeah. definitely the biggest comebacks. For sure. Good back grab. 106% damage on the Reva. Over Paramedic getting up in that department as well. Oh my goodness, Ooh. what a move! Nice neutral move we see from Paramedics and Carthage back in the lead now, six to five for stocks remaining. Blaster's gonna get about nine damage. Good dash attack. Nice down throw. Mm. Now we see the combos coming out from Paramedics. We don't see a lot of shielding from Reva as of yet here, just kind of being overwhelmed. There we go. Now the shielding back. Good parry. Good neutral. It's going to almost award Reva a KO. Holding that arrow for a little bit longer. It's not going to resort to anything. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. The town spike. That doesn't KO. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. I thought for sure Reva had that KO. 152% oh, yeah. damage on the paramedics. This game's kind of tricking him a bit. Yeah. Here. I think even him is confused. Yeah. 157. Oh there my goodness, and he's is. gone. The up smash, bringing it. And it's to a 5-5 five, five split, tied up yet again. This is ultra competitive here. Way competitive than last week already, which is insane. Oh. Yeah, I do really enjoy that competitiveness, though. I feel like this is a good matchup in the sense where Toon Link is struggling. Not because I'm biased on Carthage Fibers, <laughs> just to make that clear. Yes, I am. But <laughs> it kind of forces Toon Link to kind of think of a different fighting strategy. Yeah, definitely. And that's, yeah, that's what this game's all about. Just, you know, figuring out different ways to still be good at this game. You know, to be great at games like this, you have to, you have to establish, you know, common ground with your enemy here and try to figure out ways to combat their play styles. Oh, yeah. And being able to take down different play styles is, is huge. And that KO from Paramedics also very huge. As Saginaw only has four stocks remaining up to this point. 95% damage on Paramedics, so we could possibly go back to a 4-4 four, four die here. The ring's not going to hit anything. Good recovery from Paramedics. And that was a good grab there. Just missed grab. that. And that blaster's going to get on his nerves yep. a bit there. <laughs> Hitting it twice. I really like how he's kind of playing the the range attack where he goes in for that that little bit of a chip damage, kind of forcing him to repel a bit, but then he just goes straight for it. You yeah. can't run away from it. <laughs> Definitely. 157% damage. Paramedic's a tank. Riva trying to hold the arrow for a little bit longer here. It's not going to work at all. 161. I mean... Paramedic's just a tank right now. And look at the blaster from the range, like we said before, hitting it three consecutive oh, yeah. times. Look at all those cartwheels he's doing. <laughs> oh my goodness, getting some great cardio in. 70% <laughs> damage on Dereva, 76 and counting here. Nice Ooh. back throw! And that is gonna do it for that stock. One to one now. It's tied at four. Again, this is anybody's round here. Oh, grabs the bomb. Oh, just, just misses, oh, it just right misses there. him by a hair. Oh. Ooh. Down spike missing, 99% damage. I think Tulink is definitely going to be a bit cautious with those heavy hits going on. Yeah, definitely. 107% damage, not in a good position Ooh. here. Up B's not going to do anything. Good up B from paramedics, 123% damage, 130. 137. Nice parry! There oh, and paramedics. Is. There we go. Taking the lead. Beautiful. Wow. Saginaw down to their last player and their last three stocks after a great performance from paramedics. Wow, that was great. That was such a great parry there. I struggle with parries myself when I play Smash Bros, so seeing that come back beautifully was, yeah. was great. Definitely deserve that one right there. So props for that Toon Link for holding out as much as he did and did end up getting him down to one stock. I thought he was going to two stock him. Yeah, definitely great showing from Riva from Saginaw. I mean, yeah, what more can you say? The Toon Link gameplay was phenomenal. Oh, yeah.
You know, I take it back. A character I want to see is Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong, yeah. He, I, personally, his recovery is just a nightmare. <laughs> use having to charge it up before you can yeah. jump. But for those who know how to use him, please do. I want to see these fights. Yeah. He is welcome, for sure. Yes, you're welcome, Diddy Kong. <laughs> now that you're back in Mario Kart, please come back in Smash Bros. 2. Yes. Yes, please come back. Speaking of Mario Kart, Nintendo released the trailer already for Wave 6. Please. Really? <laughs> please. No. I would like to see if Wii Rainbow Road is back. <laughs> I... We also want our characters now. Yes. Actually, better yet, you think we could get more characters than initially announced? I hope. You know what I hope is that they erase Toad Ed. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Sakurai, but first off, you kicked off my Waluigi from Smash Bros. And then we want, like, Penny the Piranha oh, playing something goodness. back. Donkey Kong from Saginaw Valley State. Wow. It's, it's close to Diddy Kong. What a... <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a statement pick from from the Cardinals here. This this is going to be interesting. Well, I'll just say that this is going to be interesting. Donkey Kong is definitely one. Pyramid X down to, play, to one especially stock. with that grab. Yep. The grab and throw. And up playing Donkey Kong is uh, I think four different ways to interpret. Uh, how to say it, how to refer to somebody. <laughs> Sir, man, dude, guy, 87 on the board for Saginaw. Man, what a username. That's better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Neutral from Sir is going to do some damage here. Username of the year. Yeah, for sure. Dude, you just got punched by Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> this uh. is the battle of an ape and a wolf. See yes. This? Good throw. Oh my god, Donkey Kong's throws are just some of the most animated things ever, dude. Like, it's insane. Neutral's gonna get blocked off for paramedics. Nice down throw. Showing dominance early. 120% damage on the Donkey Kong. Oh! Yep. Good up air. 151% damage. Characters like Donkey Kong, they can take a hit for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, they just can't take that, that one, one though. <laughs> <laughs> they can't take that they one. They couldn't take that one. Nope. And Saginaw <laughs> down the two stocks in round one. Carthage still at four. Oh, See yeah. if paramedics can hold out. Maybe take another stock off of Sir Man Dude Guy 87 <laughs> here. Oh my god, that's such a mouthful. <laughs> Say that five times fast. No, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> just no, let's not. No. 97%, 100% damage here on to paramedics. Speaking of Sir Man Dude Guy 87, he's struggling a bit with this wolf. What is going with the place? Yeah, draft? just spamming oh, the neutrals. That's gonna work though. And there we go. So Carthage three stocks. Saginaw is gonna have two. And uh, we'll see Sir Man Dude Guy once again in the next matchup. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hold off this one. Yep. Yeah, Donkey Kong, kind of a surprise pick, honestly. I mean, you, you really oh, yeah. don't know what to expect from these teams when, you know, we're in the situation where, you know, oh, yeah. we kind of we kinda know our players, but we don't really know the enemy team, so it's just like, it's a fair game. Anybody can be up here, you know? You know, one thing I can expect, though, is definitely a sword, fly sword fighter to be <laughs> <laughs> on the battlefield. <laughs> they just seem to be everywhere, yeah. even in my nightmares. Yep. As said for you. I'm looking at this roster here. I mean, there's a lot of good characters. <laughs> and a lot of bad ones, too. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely some bad ones, yeah. Cough, cough, we fit trainer, but... Um, <clears throat> As someone who is, uh, you know, a we fit trainer main, it's a really good character. I really love the versatility he has and the different move options. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really see we fit trainer too, you know, too what, often. An interesting one that I don't believe I've like ever thought I've seen I, I've said that a lot of times but the me fighters the me brawler sword fighter the gunners even where do yeah, they go yeah no you never really see them too often I don't know if maybe it's because they have like <laughs> two versatile move sets oh, yeah. but I've seen some in the past and yeah it's it's always a fun time oh yeah I believe some of them were not allowed in some smash tournaments if I recall in the past because of the different move sets and stuff but I could be wrong and maybe maybe they just don't want to show their me's on camera. I've seen a yeah. lot of weird ones. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
All right, so Will will be the last player up for Carthage. Going up against Sir Man Dude Kai 87. What other term can I use to call this guy? <laughs> I mean, he's a supply. There's got to be more, right? You can either call him <clears throat> Sir Man or Dude Kai. Or just call him 87 if you like that. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that neutral again. The Donkey Kong. Ooh. Sir Man really likes oh. his. Oh, plan! Will into the ground here. Oh! The up smash did not connect. 74% damage already, though. All right, there goes that up B with Byleth. And yeah, that's that's one of the many great moves that Byleth has in her moveset, <clears throat> as well as that bow and arrow. I think that's like 10 times powerful oh, than wow. Toon Links. Oh my goodness. What a down spike. Saginaw down to their last stock. Good parry. Up B into a bunch of aerial combos. Ooh, oh my ooh, goodness. What do we see whoa. here? What was that? 75% damage. I don't even know what I just saw. I thought he was going to get that last stock Oh, and he finishes there it off. There it is. And Carthage going to take round one. Wow. Three stocks remaining on the board. Oh my goodness. Will. Something just snapped in Will right there. <laughs> Will. What, what's going on, man? Oh my goodness. I think we need to have a talk with Will. Yeah, so, something I, was going on yeah, there. Something was going through his all head. that anger off of yeah. Sir Man Dude Guy eighty seven. I think he's salty over the username. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> guess, but man, he just wanted to make a statement against a heavyweight character like Donkey Kong because most people, when they generally view you know fights, are thinking like, oh, the bigger guy is gonna win, right? Oh, but yeah. no, <laughs> no, no, the feistier one one in this instance and that that was will for carthage and you know round one win for carthage great oh, great yeah. start for our firebirds it's beautiful play guys and we'll be back with round two My homies, we look, uh. Everybody wanna go different ways. Everybody wanna have different tastes. But we always throw our food in the waste. Same style, but they looking the same. Right click, boy, and copy and paste. Same person, but two different fakes. Now wait a minute, why these homies so fake? Why they showing me love? Why they saying I'm great? Why they secretly hoping for me to crash and break? Waiting for me to crumble like a flake. Making sure the moves are making a mistake. Well, I don't stop with nobody, I don't do breaks. It's celebrating through life, cause I'm ever taking any Gary looking at snails. <laughs> Shit up, just trying to stop a homie from elevating. Hold 
God, oh Lord, have mercy. I call myself a thug, cause I ain't girly. My life ain't straight, nigga, but it's curly. Looping through everything, trying to get to know me. It's gonna be a heavy journey. I'm a and killer, attorney. I'm a and killer, attorney. No, wait a minute, why you always tripping? Why you always spitting when you're always yelling? Turn this shit to a freaking, freaking waterfall. My squad be lit, we be going up with Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with round two after a round one win for the Firebirds, having three stocks left over, Saginaw losing all their stocks. <laughs> and we see Promising Sage up, rocking the Pikachu Libre outfit. I mean, what other outfit can you really rock with Pikachu? Oh yeah, the best outfit that he has. Yep. Joker will be returning for Saginaw on uh, Iron Mithra. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe a lag yeah. test. Maybe a <laughs> false start on Pikachu Libre there. He's a little bit too excited <laughs> yeah. to get into that. Yeah. He, even he's confused. <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't put me next to Tom Nook. Is he here? Do I do I owe him any money? <laughs> oh, do I yeah. owe him any money? <laughs> <laughs> he's even checking it out by yeah. the flag. Hello? What is going I'm on? I'm not sure. what. I, I just tossed him okay. like he was... Like he was trash that needed to go into the trash can. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't um, believe this is a lag test. Uh, <laughs> phone's ringing, but no one's calling it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lights are out, but no one's home. Uh, not sure what's. Uh... Okay, controller issues on Saginaw. I think he's just taking advantage of this. Is, does that count? No, won't count. Will not count. It will be a restart. I think he was just having fun there for me. I would too. <laughs> Well, controller issues are definitely prominent, for sure. Mm -hmm. At least we get to see Pikachu sleeping. That's a win. <laughs> so cute. That's a win. If you were to have a Pokemon in real life, which one would it be? Honestly, either Jigglypuff or Pikachu. Going for the basic Kanto <laughs> region. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. As much as I don't like Pikachu in the show, I feel like he is overpowered for just being a Pikachu. Yeah. But going with Kanto is never answer personally i like vile blue i always do when playing pokemon it was always in my i forgot what the last battle was called but you know what i'm talking about the rival battle mm -hmm. the the league four if there's if there's if there's some like pokemon people in chat right now and they're just like shaking their heads because they know <laughs> what i'm talking about i'm sorry <laughs> all right take two promising sage versus joker to open round number two Carthage coming into this with the round one win. Saginaw trailing in this one. Oh yeah, and Tomlick looks happy back there. He got his money paid. Yeah, he definitely got his. <laughs> he definitely got his <laughs> check in. Uh, I think I made like 10 million bills on Animal Crossing, and uh, yeah, all, all time though probably like around 30 million, and you know most of that's gone to Tomlick for uh, house upgrades. <laughs> oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah, it costs a pretty penny to live on the horizon. That's for sure. Uh, pun definitely intended, by the way. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, as an Animal Crossing player, I definitely love that. 50% uh, already on Promising Sage. Uh, by the way, uh, both teams back to 12 stocks as it is the restart of a new round. Let's see what Sage can do with Lightning. Ooh. It's going to hit. Oh, that's wow. going to be an SD for Joker. Mm. I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. Got flashbang by the Lightning, it looks like. <laughs> Good use of the blade. The blazing Ooh, end hitting wow. twice. Look out for that Joker, blade. third time's a charm is not gonna work out. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Yeah. That there range. we go for Joker. Yeah, the range from Pyromethra. Yeah, like I said before, very versatile character. I mean, it's two P it's two characters pretty much in one. You get Mithra and you get Pyro. Mithra definitely more of that fast twitchy type vibe and Pyra just the fiery destructiveness. Oh yeah. Personally, I'd say like it's a. This is just a personal opinion. I feel like it's a bit unfair having Pyro and Mithra in one character. Kind of a really big double. It's like you're going against two different characters in one match. Yeah, well, you could you could say the same thing about the Ice Climbers. You, ice Climbers. You, you could say the same thing, but you know, you get two of them. You get both of them right off the bat. It's like I always hit the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, and that does happen. Dang it, the sure. sister got in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Both teams at 11 stocks now, even at two for this game. Nice forward. Promising Sage, 120% damage. Trying to rack up some damage on the Joker. See who finds the mark first. 
Ooh. Notice that Joker is playing Pyra, so things could get pretty explosive. Ooh, barely missed Pyra. Barely missing. Oh, does oh, he miss that there, though? Miss. <laughs> wow. Saginaw down to 10. Carthage at 11. You know, I really love the play of him using Quick Attack as um, not only just like as an up, but like he's kind of using that to, like, just to confuse him a bit like, oh, I'm over here. Yeah. I'm over there. It's literally a Quick Attack. Yeah, literally. Oh my goodness. The Pikachu Ooh. combos from Promise Exage. Oh, oh the Lightning is not going to hit the forward smash, though. He's going to hit for Joker, switching immediately to Mithra. Yeah, I'm feeling just like that villager in the background right now. What is going on? Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm happy. Yeah. Mabel's just like, what is going on here? I'm supposed to be running my clothing store. Mabel on the other end. Oh, oh, oh wow. hey, whoa, whoa, Hold whoa. On. I've seen something Hold like on. this before. <laughs> Hold on. What? Promising Sage going to win that one. 10 to 9. Wow. I bleed I, for I, one I just, second. I just had a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. I just had a flashback to a playoff game between Manitowoc Lutheran and Winnebago Lutheran. <laughs> where it was a piranha plant and a Luigi. A and piranha plant. Yes. Wow. And what ha what happened was that both players were simultaneously KO'd, right? The piranha plant went down, like, regularly. The Luigi had the animation where they hit the screen, and the Luigi won because of that. Wow. By a frame difference. Wow. It was it was amazing. If, if anybody wants to go see that, go visit the <laughs> I was a YouTube channel. I I've documented that as well as a bunch of good moments from uh, their fall 2022 season, which I was a great a big part of. <laughs> and that was that was a phenomenal season for sure because it was my it was the first time I stepped out of the uh, the Rocket League shadow and really you know ex <laughs> explored uh, video games for esports commentary purposes. And here we are now. Yeah. Running it back with Smash, uh, did Valorant a few months ago, and uh, in the spring, debut for Siege, the fourth different game. That'll be great. It's going for the casting of like all a huge yeah. range of games <laughs> here. Yeah. So how do you go about that? Do you play all of them? Yes, I do. I do play all. Of them. I didn't know you play Valorant. That's actually really cool. I don't. I don't play Valorant a lot. I play it a little bit, but like something like Rainbow Six Siege. Oh yeah, I've been playing that game heavily for four years. So like I. I could be a color commentator. I could be a play-by-play -play for Siege. I mean, yeah. Even a football commentator. Yeah, yeah, which I am. <laughs> Speaking of that, though, ladies and gentlemen, there is a game happening at Horlick Field this Friday. It's homecoming for Horlick as they take on uh, inner city rival Case. Horlick coming in one and six, Case five and two. It should be a very good game, regardless of records. If you just toss them out of the window, it should be a great game. A lot of talent on each team, and yeah, I'm just excited to be a, a big part of that as the PA announcer. Oh, yeah. And I believe we're actually cutting to a break here. And we will be cutting to a break.
All righty, we are back with the resume of round number two. Carthage 10 stocks, Saginaw 9 stocks, Turbo Juggler 32 here. Subby had to leave early, so I'll be taking over the duties for now. So we're going to see Promising Sage at one stock, and we're going to see Jackal playing as Samus for Saginaw. Having a full slate of stocks, good parry. We're seeing from Promising Sage. Nice combos as well. 48% damage has not taken a single hit. Now he has 15% damage. Nice beam grab from Jackal. Samus is a very versatile character in her own right. I feel like I say that about every single character, but all of these characters have pretty unique movesets outside if they're Echo Fighters, but nonetheless though, Saginaw trying to rack up some damage on the Promising Sage. Promising Sage responding back. Wow! Oh my goodness, a bunch of electricity. Oh, and Jackal's not able to make the recovery. Gets the damage, but not able to make the recovery. Saginaw, eight stocks. Carthage still has 10 on the board. See some more electricity. Good parry from Jackal. Promising Sage, try and get some more damage, 101% damage, 25, 37, 42, just a bunch of up air combos that we're seeing here. Good back throw, oh, nice up the, up the morph ball, the blaster shot, now charging up the beam, launching it, parry. 134% damage. Promising Sage still not out of here yet. Being charged yet again. Seventy-eight percent damage. Oh, that's gonna be another SD for Jackal. Wow. Be a one-to-one -one here. Saginaw down to seven. Cartridge still has ten. Promising Sage still on the board here. Electricity going backwards now. 57% damage. 146% damage on the Promising Sage. Very critical situation. Makes the recovery. Oh, and the uppy is not gonna get. Oh my goodness, Promising Sage still sticking around. 93% damage. He does have the chance to possibly win this here. 115% damage. Can he win the, the one versus three stock? No, he does not. Does Oh, he couldn't make the recovery. Garthage, nine stocks. Saginaw, seven. Oh, that was just outstanding effort from Promising Sage. They're almost getting the job done. It's just a little bit short in that regard. Carthage pulling ahead two stock lead. Jackal will still be on the board for Saginaw in the next matchup. We'll be awaiting to hear who will be up for the Firebirds. I mean, hi. And our lovely producer, hi. TJ Blaze, is here. Hi, it's Blaze <laughs> on the desk now, filling in for a little bit. You won't see me, I'm behind a different desk. But what a game we saw right there out of, out of Carthage. It was a nice little run we got there out of Promising Sage, right? Yeah. Out yes, of promising yes, Sage. Promising Sage. I could hear them going electric in the other room, and that's what we're here for. They did get a nice little stock buff after that, and it'll be very interesting to see how they can do going into this next game. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be great to see here, and we might have another guest hopping in here, fill in for Subby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, JR, the legend. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing tonight? JR, how are you feeling, man? Feeling good, feeling good. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling great. It's nice to have you behind the desk here. Yeah. What do you what do you think of the Firebirds so far tonight in their matchup against Saginaw? Uh, so far tonight, I mean, they're really killing it. I mean, we're taking the lead and then we're just getting the kills that we need to and then we're actually edge guarding and all that stuff. So we're doing pretty good right now. Yeah, definitely a vast improvement from last week. I mean, you know, to start space food was kind of you know 
not doing well on Ness, but, you know, turn around this week and, you know, he did some things against Kiki playing Bayonetta. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's really what set the tone early on for the Firebirds here in that round one. In round two now, they do have the two-stock lead here. Ready? I believe they may have the momentum to keep it in their their hands. They just cannot, you know, afford any mistakes, especially from what we saw from Mechanical Merlin with the SDs with Lucina. Oh, yeah. Got to limit those for sure. Three, two, at one point, one, the stock differential go. was tied up three different times in that round one. Yeah. So a little too close for comfort, but the Firebirds did get the job done there. And we're on with the next game in round two. Paramedics, full three stocks, going up against Jackal, who has one stock, which is his last one. Let's see. Oh my goodness, nice. Whip oh, he's grab. Getting all oh grabs. my goodness, yeah. yeah. He's not, not landing the combos after it, though. No, just getting chip damage, as some would say. Oh, nice reflection. We haven't yeah. really seen too many reflections for paramedics. Good to see that there. And the blaster from range as well. Yeah, he's more of a blaster than a reflector. Yeah, for sure. A blaster does help at range. Already at 93% damage is Jack. Jumping up in the air, trying oh, to avoid no punish from there though, yeah. Just gonna make recovery and get damage after the fact. 120% damage. Dancing by the ledge. Nice grab. And he does get the combos off that time around. But the up beat, though. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. The forest smash. Paramedics sending Jackal packing. Saginaw, six. And Carthage jumps out to now a three-stock lead. Yeah, I don't know what that up beat was from the Samus, but, I mean, he got the punish off of it, too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a really, really great showing for Paramedics. He did some damage as well earlier on. So yeah, it's nice to see some consistency with some of our players in this matchup, mm -hmm. especially after what happened last week against the Michigan Wolverines. Yeah. Couldn't really do much of anything. So it's definitely the polar opposite we're seeing tonight. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's that's definitely welcome here. <laughs> this is the Carthage stream, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want our team to do well in all, all things. Yeah, we've seen Saginaw have some great picks to go up against our Firebirds. We've seen Donkey Kong. We've seen Bayonetta. I mean, yeah. the sky's the limit, I think, for <laughs> picks for them. I mean, I was not expecting them to have a Bayonetta. I was talking to Subby before the stream. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, we're going to see a Bayonetta. And lo and behold, like, as we start stream, <laughs> the space food goes up against the Bayonetta. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> quite the surprise because it's honestly a rare character that you see for Cruise. So, yeah. I mean, we handled it pretty well. Because, honestly, it's basically that doesn't have that much Bayo experience, so it was nice to see him actually take the lead. Yeah, definitely. And overcome adversity as well in that feat. Yeah, and I want to see a character like Rob or something. <laughs> you know, just... Just a Rob. Yeah. I know Subby wanted to see possible game and watch i mean that that would kind of be a soul crusher if it happened now <laughs> when she yeah. wasn't here so i mean yeah but no. she wanted to see game and watch really yeah Interesting. oh, oh my god okay. okay hey we will take sephiroth we will take him quite the interesting pick for this matchup but yeah the adversary the cloud from One. final fantasy Go. oh my goodness that's scythe the range is pretty much unlimited with that thing. So, we're gonna see a good complement to Wolf's range, but, you know, starting this matchup, uh, we're not seeing that. It's Paramedic's taking the full advantage of Jackal here. Or not Jackal, uh, Saginaw's next player that's up right now. But right now, he's really pushing his advantage and staying on him, which is what you want to do against Sephiroth. So, I mean, he's playing it really well right now. Yeah, definitely want to play close range against Sephiroth because that's that's pretty much his weakness. It's, you know, his main strength is range. Mm -hmm. He has the big orb that, you know, takes up, like, one-third of the entire screen. And, you know, <laughs> he's got the, the scythe to boot. I mean, what more could you want in a range package than Sephiroth? Mm-hmm. 124% damage. Rango is the player yeah. up. 
Saginaw. Four players around that 100% damage mark. Oh, Ooh, but he gets hit by the side beat though. Your oh, spot dodge. Oh, oh, oh. Nice dodging from paramedics, both players. Pretty much even in the damage department. Oh, but he barely misses the roll read, but he actually gets the punish. Oh, oh my goodness, the scythe. Air. Wow. Yeah. Forward air with the scythe. Carthage had eight stocks now. But he gets it back wow. with the up smash of his own, so. Nice up smash. Stocks even at two here. Saginaw is going to have five. Carthage eight. Still a three stock gap. If Carthage is able to win round two. They will win two to zero. But it is something to monitor for sure. Both players 42% damage. Pretty much an evenly contested battle thus far. I'm surprised he's actually not reflecting the fireballs, though. Because he definitely used the reflector more in the Samus matchup, but I guess he's not used to Tephroth using the could be too often. Yeah. You always gotta expect the curveball here, and Sephiroth could be a curveball in some instances for sure. Yeah. 117% damage on to the Sephiroth. Reflection's gonna hit. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, double <laughs> reflection! Wow. This cancels fire. Oh my oh, goodness. The down smash, though. Phenomenal down smash by paramedics. Saginaw down to four stocks remaining. Could be do or die time. Oh, oh and that orb's not gonna KO. So everybody reads the neutral get up often. Let's see. Paramedics trying to find some more chip damage here. Great shielding we're seeing from Rango. 80% damage. He's trying to play close range with Sephiroth and Ideally, oh, 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 there you go. And Maybe that's why player. he was playing close range. Oh my god. Yeah. Terminus oh. <laughs> gets obliterated off the screen. Uh, man. 1 1, Carthage still 3 stock lead, 7 to 4. Reflection just going to be a, a tad early. Yeah. Let's see what paramedics can do here. Try to find finishing touch. Onto the Sephiroth forward smash, way out of range. No smash yeah, he's as well. Kind of poking around to see where he can find his opening. But he gets a dash attack, he's in the air. But he lets him land. Can't capitalize on one. 40% damage, there's the down smash. Yeah. Paramedics taking Rango off of the board. Saginaw down to the last player and three stocks in round two. Carthage, a four stock lead. Great match all around. I mean, Wolf and a Sephiroth. Just, just a great matchup overall. I mean, <laughs> yeah. something that was not on my bingo card this evening. <laughs> and whoever would have thought that Wolf from Star Fox fights against Sephiroth for Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's why Smash is so great, man. You can have, like, once-in-a-generation matchups here, mm -hmm. and you can just do it over and over and over again and just not be controlled. I mean, yeah. That's the beauty of Smash Bros. It honestly is, yeah. Sakurai has definitely blessed us with a tremendous game. <laughs> definitely. If this is his last one, man, what a what a bang to go out with. I mean, it honestly might be his last one because he, now he's just making YouTube content. Yeah. So. Which who doesn't like that? I mean, he's <laughs> yeah. making YouTube videos about his cat and all that other stuff. You know, mm -hmm. video game producing, all that other stuff. So yeah. Sakurai is just a great man all around. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Although Subby would say <laughs> that he's not not that perfect of a guy because he has a he despises Waluigi. Well, I mean, I I, I wouldn't <laughs> say maybe despise, but he just just doesn't favor him honestly. I mean, if he did, he would be in the game, but he's he just be. an assist trophy, so. Yeah, I mean, personally, I wanted like Shadow as a actual character, but I mean, he's an assist trophy too. But I mean. It's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow would be great, honestly, yeah. Definitely some more Sonic representation would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sega already has three reps, so from three different games, too. Yeah.
Oh, yes. Whoever just switched it to Bubblegum KK, you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> you are the best. We're going to be jamming out in this next game. Mm. Ready? Oh, oh Star, Star Fox battle. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Falco. Wolf. Wow. I wonder where Fox is at this time. <laughs> Probably just flying Slippy around Toad. Space. Peppy Hair, where are they at? <laughs> where are they all at? Now they're vibing like the Animal Crossing characters we see in the background. <laughs> yeah. Not sure where Tom Nook went. Uh, he probably went to uh, go check his bank account. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Paramedix on his last stock. Oh, it's Sir Man Du Guy 87 back in the house. Was on Donkey Kong, now he's on Falco. Let's see what he can do. That's quite the lineup of characters there. Oh, oh, that's going to be an SD, all right. So two left here. Saginaw, do or die time. If you're the Cardinals. Firebridge jumping onto a five stock lead. Did you split side B for recovery? Nice reflection. Oh, he just let this pick up the shield too early. 74% damage on the paramedics. Oh, oh my goodness! I oh. was not expecting that one. Sir, man, dude, guy. Oh my oh, goodness. What a town <laughs> spike with Falco, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, just living the fight another day. Carthage, six stocks, Saginaw at two. We'll still see Sir, man, back in the fray. But paramedics will be taken out of the equation. Wait, I forget. Is it, does Falco have a unique line for Wolf? I know Fox does, and Wolf for Fox, but... He might, he might. Yeah. <clears throat> I would assume Sakurai would put something in there like that, but I'm not sure. I don't main <laughs> any of the Star Fox characters, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't main any of yeah. them either, yeah. And Will will be up next for the Firebirds. Choose your so we could see a dose of the Byleth yet again. Mm. Or we might see one of his other characters, depending on... <laughs> what he's feeling right now, but... Mm. May see another character. Possibly the one that's on his, you know, picture. <laughs> <laughs> Could see that one. Gonna be on Pokemon Stadium, too. Yeah. So that should possibly give away what, <laughs> what we might be seeing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, PS2 makes the best game. Yep. Jigglypuff. Falco. What a matchup. Yeah. What, what what great matchups we've had this evening. They both prefer the air. I mean our producers <laughs> loving the Jigglypuff. Lay is a huge fan of Jigglypuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> BM the, to begin. <laughs> yeah, if you got the taunt at the beginning, but it's no. all good though. All good. Get some combos early here. Floating around with Jigglypuff. Sir Man trying to combat that. Just the amount of floatiness you have with Jigglypuff. Oh, to do combos stage? like that, carrying him oh, off the dead? stage. Oh, and that's going to oh, result yeah. in an SD, a forced SD. Saginaw down to only one stock. I wonder if we'll see the rest to end this off. Oh, that would be great. That would be the cherry on the top. The icing on the cake. 61 weight and damage. 74 on the will. Oh. Oh, no edge guard, though. He could have easily gotten in there with the back air, but... No I mean, edge guard. Maybe he's saving it for the rescue? Possibly. Sir, man, dangerous territory. 76% damage on this last stock. Down spike. Not gonna do much. It's gonna rack up some damage. Not gonna get a KO though. 117% damage. 120. Oh, you did. He tried to hit the jab up, but he was just a little bit too late on it. 99% damage. There we go. A win. 
for the Firebirds. They advance to 1-1 one one on the season, while Saginaw drop into 0-2. Oh Fabulous game from both sides. Mm. Really enjoyed this one. Got to see some awesome characters, cast with some awesome people. I mean, what more? What more could you really want? <laughs> right. I mean, it was quite the variety of characters this time around. Because we got to see, like, everyone pretty much just played their secondaries, I would assume. Yeah. You got to see some crazy picks on the side of Saginaw Valley State. But, yeah, overall, just a very enticing game overall. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the claps coming out for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As, yes, the Firebirds one and one. So, with that matchup coming to a conclusion, the stream will come to a conclusion shortly here. Uh, I don't believe there is a League of Legends stream or Overwatch this week. Uh, due to something going on with NECC. I could be wrong, but keep your... Well, hold on. Might get a word from the producer here before we get the stream <laughs> off here, just so I don't seem as a liar. <laughs> <laughs> don't want that happening. Yeah. Don't want that PR. And yes, to confirm, no games for League of Legends and Overwatch this week, so make sure to come back to the Carthage Esports stream this upcoming Monday for NECC Week 3 for our Valorant squad. And come back next week Tuesday for NECC Week 3 Smash Bros. And then the League of Legends and Overwatch games Wednesday and Thursday. I have been Turbo Juggler. And I've been JR. And we will see you back on Monday. Well, I mean.